Hi guys, Yasmo here and today I'm gonna talk about the number one mistake that causes most people to not drop enough maps, to not drop enough currency. If you don't have enough maps to run the highest tier that you can, if you are like struggling to make currency, chances are this is probably the mistake that you're making and the mistake I'm talking about is basically not investing enough into your maps and what what is enough right what is enough investment into your maps you have um, different ways of investing into your maps and putting currency into them so I'm gonna go through them uh, basically from the very beginning when you enter your first map until the very end when you're doing like fractured 100% delirious maps right so we're gonna go through all of that basically very very quickly so at the beginning when you start running your maps just alk them okay don't save your alks there is no reason to save alks i don't have alks on my filter i've i've never had i've never came close to running out of alks you will not run of Al alks never save alks just alk every map you can just do it just alk all maps okay alking maps is something that you should be doing from the very very beginning uh, if you're not alking maps, like unless you're playing in hardcore, okay? If you're playing in hardcore and you're worried about running certain mods, okay, that's understandable, that's a different story. But most people that I'm going to be talking to are going to be probably playing in the softcore trade league because that's where majority of the players are playing. And for you, you should be alking your maps from the very beginning. So that's what you do in the white maps. Once you get to like yellow maps and you start start uh, getting to like tier uh, like six, tier seven, uh, and you're gonna start having a little bit more trouble with sustaining the maps. Uh, also use Val Orb on them. Do side areas, okay? Do your side areas, Val side areas in those maps, and you will get Val Orbs and you will get uh, Sacrifice Fragments as well, and use Val Orbs on your yellow maps as well. If you use Val Orbs on your yellow maps, chances are you're gonna get a plus one to the tier which is gonna help you progress you might be getting like a, a full like eight mob eight mod map you're gonna be getting like tons of mods on it tons of quantity and tons of returns so that's what you want to do in yellow maps this will help you progress this will not stop you from progressing this will help you progress so you should definitely do that and then once you get to red maps especially once you get to like T13 and you're starting to get into the T14s into the highest tiers you need to be chiseling all of your maps and you also need to be using sextants even if you use the simple sextants still do that spend your currency actually spend your currency on sextants spend your currency on chisels they're very very cheap especially early on they're super cheap and you can get a bunch of them even if you're not sustaining them and still put them in your maps and you're gonna get the returns back. Definitely you should be doing that. Definitely you should be running chisels and you should be running sextants even if you're just running a region that has like one watchstone or two watchstones because you're progressing, you can still run sextants on that. It, you, it will help you progress. There is no reason to save the currency. I'm gonna repeat this like a hundred times this uh, in this video, but this is something that you really need to get through like into your mindset that you should not be saving very very cheap mapping currencies you should never be saving them you should just be using them to progress your maps because chances are you're struggling to progress up in the tiers of maps and the reason is you're not investing enough into your maps so your red maps you should be chiseling them you should be um you should be using sextants, right? Whatever sextants you have. Later on, when you get to higher tier maps, you will be making money. You will be able to buy them as well. So you, you, you don't worry about running out. Just run out of them. That's good. Run out of them. That means you invested into your stuff and you got returns and then you can sell those returns for more materials for mapping. So it's good if you run out of them. That means you're actually investing in them and you need to buy more and then continue investing back into your maps. So don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of investing more into your maps. So red maps, you can do chisels, you can do sextants, whatever sextants you have. Obviously you alk them up. And then you can also Val Orb um, if you're not worried about the mods, if you're playing a good build like a miner or a toxic rain, something that doesn't care about map mods that much, uh, you can actually just Val any maps you want right and as long as you are like as you want more sustain as you're like struggling with sustain this will help you a lot so this is the like very 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 basic level of investment and in red maps 
in my opinion, you should also be using sacrifice fragments, okay? I personally run the Val side areas while mapping, while doing like the white, yellow, and red maps in the beginning, and I got a bunch of fragments, and I just use them. If I'm like in the, I'm running my highest tier map, let's say I have like only one tier 14 map, and then less to, is that are like T13s and T12s, right? I'm gonna run my T14 map, and I'm gonna put like I'm gonna put three uh, fragments in this, right? I'm gonna put three uh, sacrifice fragments in this. I just want more maps. I want to progress in tiers to be in T16s as soon as possible, and then you're gonna have like unending supply of maps. Like I'm, I'm not even like uh, requiring like maps because I uh, I'm running like fractured maps right now, but I'm still dropping so many maps. Like the maps are dropping like crazy. When I was running just T16. I can go maps in the very beginning. Um, I was starting with burial chambers, and I was getting so many of them because you can you can favorite the maps. You can enable only four watchstones in the region that you want the maps to drop in, and you can sustain the maps so easily as long as you're doing this. So, by sextants, uh, by uh, by um, cartographers chisels, uh, val your maps if you don't care about the mods and you want uh, more quantity on your maps invest in your maps as much as you can that way you're gonna get to t16s no problem you're gonna get to t16s and then you can be on another level you can be like okay i'm now in t16s i'm sustaining my t16s with just like with just like chisel and sextant and alk you're going to be sustaining t16s and with that especially if you have like a decent um bonus objectives right so make sure that you're doing your bonus objectives on the way uh like whenever you have uh, like you finish a batch of your maps do whatever is like the lower tiers to get a little bit of the bonus and that will help your sustain so whenever you find scarabs for example right whenever you find like let's say you find like rusted ambush scarab okay put that in your map don't save that for later don't sell one scarab at the time like selling individual scarabs will not make you money this is not the way you should play if you want to make more currency you should actually just use them if you're running your t16 maps just use them just use like put one scarab one fragment whatever you have at the beginning just to grow and grow and grow and increase in the amount of currency that you have constantly invest into your maps don't save them for later you're gonna buy them later for the currency that you're gonna be making by investing them so don't save these for later sometimes i put scarabs like in t12 maps that i'm running like i just have them i just put them in because i want more sustain i want more maps i want quicker progress and more currency and it it pays off there is no reason to save them um, another thing that you want to be doing is starting to use delirium orb whenever you can so you're gonna be finding these from rituals um, you're gonna be finding these from delirium mirrors and whenever you find that one if you are running t16 maps let's say you're doing like t16 burials or whatever and your build is doing fine right your build is just smashing that there is no reason not to put delirium orb i have another video where i explain my strategy for lex ajoris how you should be farming with like one delirium orb in here and why this is like the best region to farm with one delirium orb if you farm with like 100 delirious other regions are better but with one delirium orb this is like the best region so you definitely should be doing that also use missions to juice your maps do not stockpile your missions unless you're like stockpiling all of us for 100% delirium, okay? Then if you're doing that, you probably know what you're doing. But otherwise, use your betrayal missions, use your um, Zana missions, use especially on, in T16s uh, to do your completion. And then use your uh, beasts. Don't let them sit there. They add extra monsters to your maps. So make sure that you're using them to add extra monsters. And then run, like if you're adding just one delirium orb, it doesn't really make the map that much harder. It makes it like, let's say like 20% harder or 30% harder. It makes it a little bit harder, but your build should be handled that if you're running T16s already, but it multiplies the amount of rewards that you're getting. You're getting much more rewards, um, especially when this thing procs compulsive hoarder. Uh, it's, it's definitely very, very, very good and very useful to run. So run this and that way you're going to be progressing eventually you're going to progress to two orbs and then three orbs and then probably you're going to be making so much currency that you will be able to afford a headhunter and then do 100 percent delirious right so even if you're running just these uh these t16s right with like one delirium orb what should you be putting them like which scarabs you should be using i'm going to tell you what i'm doing personally but i'm going to explain it in like the principles of it right the principle is the main principle is you want to add 
more monster more monsters into your maps and then you want to multiply the amount of drops by putting something like delirium orb right delirium orb scales the more monsters you have right it adds more loot and other things add more monsters so you want to buy cheap scarabs early on the cheap ones are like rusted elder scarab rusted breach scarab rusted ambush scarab and rusted harbinger scarab those are the ones that cost normally 1c harbor is a bit more expensive this league so just go for like rusted elder rusted breach and rusted ambush they are 1c each or less or less but if you buy in bulk you probably play like once 1c each like actually rusted breach are extremely cheap like way uh, less than 1c now so buy these and that will add more monster also like perandus if you if you can get them very very cheap they will also add more monsters to your maps whatever adds more monsters to your maps is good um, the beast area is not so good because it costs you a mission and you should have your other missions that you're running carto is not so good because you should be sustaining your maps like i have so many maps that i'm like unable to even sell i'm trying to sell maps in bulk and it's so hard to even get rid of them that's how many maps are dropping so make sure that you're running like cheap like 1c scarabs and put three of them and then unlock your map device to have like uh, all of that you can you can like pay someone to complete this for you but if you have a good build you can definitely run a four-way i run it on my toxic rain character four-way emblem to unlock the map device so that i can put extra scarabs it's definitely worth doing as soon as um, as you're able to if you're running like 20 percent delirious maps you should probably be able to do that and invest in your maps um, after this stage where you're like running these cheap scarabs and you're running your t16s with one delirium orb then you're probably going to be running two or three and then the next step after that is to make a really really good build that can farm 100 percent delirium delirious maps but that's going to be for the next video where i'm going to explain basically how i uh, run my fractured maps uh, it's a little bit difficult to get content of that because the game has absolutely horrible performance right now so i have like one map recorded but it's really really hard to record or stream that content because there's just so much happening the game is crashing every now and then and it's uh, extremely annoying so hopefully ggg can fix that because right now sometimes the game is really unplayable and it's it's horrible for like making content about like the the highest level you know content you can actually run in the game uh, because it doesn't perform right the game just doesn't perform but that's going to be in the next video so hopefully this has been helpful you can make so much currency and you can progress so much more if you just don't save these things for later there is no reason to save them for later you're just stopping yourself from making currency and gimping yourself by not using this you are like sometimes i use scarabs in yellow maps sometimes i literally put a like scarab and two fragments in a yellow map because i want to force drop the maps right i want to force dropping the next tier of the map i just want to do it i just want to speed it up i don't want to run two maps to get a plus one i want to run one map to run a plus one and i want to do it faster so i just invest more into my maps and it always works there is no reason to say save all of that i'm like a broken record in this video repeating that but like i think this is like the thing that is holding back like maybe 60 to 80 percent of players who are mapping and are like stuck in a certain tier like you should never get stuck in a tier like it's you should never get stuck in any tier of maps because you're not dropping maps that's just you're misplaying like the, the game doesn't allow for that to happen if you're not misplaying right if you're if you're like just stopping yourself from putting things into your maps put more monsters into your maps make them drop more loot it's always worth it that's basically the conclusion of this video thank you guys for watching and see you next time